Hello everybody, it's Mr. Marx here. Today I'm going to be teaching a making meaning lesson. We are starting Unit 8, which is determining important ideas, especially looking at expository nonfiction, fiction, and drama. And this is, of course, brought to you by the good people at the Center for the Collaborative Classroom. And it is copyrighted, so uh, we'd like to thank the people at CCC for allowing us to do this uh, remotely. So. This week, this week one, we're going to be reading about banning tag today. Then tomorrow we'll have smile, you've got homework. Homework, who needs it? And then later on in the week, we'll be having a guided strategy focus and thinking about all these things. So determining important ideas, expository, nonfiction, fiction, and drama during this unit. The students focus on determining important ideas in text to better understand and remember what they read. They also make inferences, visualize, and identify what they learn and wonder as they hear and discuss read-alouds from a variety of genres. During IDR, the students identify important ideas and themes in books they read independently, and they think about how they are applying the comprehension strategies they have learned in their own reading. Socially, they learn the procedure for think, pair, write, and develop the skill for giving reasons for their thinking. They also practice showing respect for the thinking of others, even when it is different than their own. Now, for this unit, since we are working from home, we don't have the luxury of having real live partners. So instead of partners, we can like use a stuffed animal, maybe your pet. Of course, they might walk away. A younger brother or sister, they might walk away too. Um, but another human being would be great, um, or even if you have a toy. Today, I'm going to be using my friends here, Batman and Robin, to uh, turn and talk and be my, my, my guinea pigs for uh, today's lesson. So today, your job is to pay attention to these student learning targets. You're going to be hearing and discussing an expository nonfiction article. You're going to identify what you learn from the article. You're going to think about important ideas in the article, and then you're going to share your own opinions about the topic of the article. Now, the article we're going to be reading today is called Banning Tag. And to ban means you disallow something. So if something is banned, it's not allowed to be there anymore. So based on the article and subheadings, what do you think you might learn from this article? There's the title Banning Tag. There's a subheading the other side, different types of tag, other games. So what do you think you might learn from this article? Turn to your partner. Well, I think that a uh, hey, turn to your partner. Oh, sorry. I think we're going to learn about different kinds of tag games and whether they're OK for school or not. Well, I think that it says in the other games, there might be other games they might suggest that we might be able to play besides tag. Oh, okay. Thank you, Batman and Robin, for sharing that. So we're going to read this article two times. The first time we'll read it, uh, I want you to think about what you're learning. And the second time, I want you to think about uh, the information that you learn in it. So... Um, the title is Banning Tag, and there's different sections, as you can see here. There's the other side, there's different types of tag, and other games. So we're going to be focusing on these one, two, three, four sections. And if you notice down here, I put some vocabulary definitions here. A petition is a letter signed by many people asking for something to change or for an action to be taken. And versions means different kinds, like you have different kinds of versions, like there's like different kinds of colors would be, you know, red, yellow, green. Those are all versions of colors. So we're going to read this two times and then periodically we'll turn and talk. And then when I do say turn and talk, that's a good time for you to maybe pause the video and then stop and talk to whomever your partner is, whether they're real or imaginary. Bean tag. Bannon tag. Imagine that you're being chased. You run as fast as you can, but you're not quick enough. 
You feel hands on your back, touching you. You trip, fall down, skinning your knee. Not again. You are tired of always being it. Has this ever happened to you? If it has, you know that it does not feel very good. Some principals, teachers, and parents are worried that playing tag at recess is too dangerous. They argue that kids run into one another, fall down, and get hurt playing tag. They say that sometimes tag leads to hitting, pushing, and bullying. In response to these concerns, schools all over the country are banning the game of tag during recess. So, readers, what have you learned about why some people think tag should be banned? Turn to your partner. Well, I think that they're banning tag because sometimes people are getting hurt. Yeah, it says in the article that people run into one each other. I remember one time I was playing tag and Harley Quinn, she came running into me and I wasn't even playing. Or she was playing tag, but I wasn't. And she ran right into me and I fell down and it hurt. Okay, readers, bring it back here. Unpause. In response to these concerns, schools all over the country are banning the game of tag during recess. The other side. Some parents and kids think that schools should not ban tag. A third grader from the state of Washington, that's us, even started a petition to get his principal to change the ban and let the kids play tag again at recess. There are a lot of good things about the game. It is easy to get started because you do not need anything to play except some friends. Also, while you run around, you are getting exercise and having fun at the same time. Many people are upset that recess has to be ruined for everyone just because a few children play too rough. After all, the game of tag has been around for hundreds of years. Readers, what are some of the reasons people give for why tag should not be banned. I think tag shouldn't be banned because it gives you good exercise. Yeah, why should people's fun be ruined just because a few bad apples? Okay, readers, let's continue reading. After all, the game of tag has been around for hundreds of years different types of tag. There are many different versions of tag. You probably know how to play some of them. One of the most popular versions of tag is freeze tag, where instead of being it, you are caught. when you are caught, you have to stand still until the other player touches you. There's also tunnel tag, which is like freeze tag, except that your teammates must crawl through your legs before you can play again. Monster tag starts with one person chasing all the others. As each player is tagged, he or she joins hands with it to help chase the others. In the end, there's a long chain of players who are all it working together. With all the hands and feet, the chain reminds some people of a monster. That is how this kind of tag got its name. Readers, what have you learned about the different types of tag? Turn to your partner. Well, I've learned. Turn to your partner, guys. Oh, sorry. I've learned that there's different kinds of tag games. One tag game that my friend Mr. Freeze likes to play is Freeze Tag. Yeah, I learned that Monster Tag is another kind of tag game, too. That means you get a big, all these people play together, one person's it, and then every time they catch somebody, they have to join arms or hands, and then everyone's it. Thank you, Batman and Robin, for sharing that. Yeah, that is how Tag Game, the Tag Game of Monster, got its name. Let's continue. Other games. If your school does not allow Tag at recess, there are a lot of other games you can play instead. If you have a ball, you can organize a game of kickball or foursquare. With a piece of chalk and a few pebbles, you can play hopscotch. You can probably think of many more fun things to do during recess. Whatever you are allowed to do at recess, it is important that you play fair and are gentle with others. When everyone feels safe, everyone can have fun. 
some readers. If someone asks you what this article is about, what would you tell him or her? Hmm, think about that. If someone asks you what this article is about, what would you tell him or her? Yes, Robin, I see your hand is being raised. Well, I think that this game is mostly about whether tags should be allowed at recess or not. Hmm, good idea. Batman, I see your hand is raised. I'd like to just add on to what Robin said. I think that this article shows many different reasons why tags should be played, and then some reasons why tags should not be allowed to be played at recess. All right, thank you, Batman. Okay, readers, we're going to read this article a second time. This time, I want you to pay attention to more of the important details that are in the article. Banning tag. Imagine that you're being chased. You run as fast as you can, but you're not quick enough. You feel hands on your back touching you. You trip, fall down, skinning your knee. Not again. You're tired of always being it. Has this ever happened to you? If it has, you know that it does not feel very good. Some principals, teachers, and parents are worried that playing tag at recess is too dangerous. They argue that kids run into one another, fall down, and get hurt playing tag. They say that sometimes tag leads to hitting, pushing, and bullying. In response to these concerns, schools all over the country are banning the game of tag during recess. Readers, what do you think is the most important thing to understand and remember from the part we just read? Turn to your partner. I think the most important thing to understand and remember from this part we just read is that sometimes tag can be dangerous. Yeah, sometimes people can get hurt playing tag, or those who are not even playing can get hurt. All right, let's move on, you guys. The other side. Some parents and kids think that school should not ban tag. A third grader from the state of Washington even start a petition to get his principal to change the ban and let the kids play tag again at recess. There are a lot of good things about the game. It is easy to get started because you do not need things to play except some friends. Also, while you run around, you are getting exercise and having fun at the same time. Many people are upset that recess has to be ruined for everyone just because a few children play too rough. After all, the game of tag has been around for hundreds of years. Now, readers, what do you think the most important thing to remember about the part we just read? Well, I think that some people are saying that tag is a fun game, but just because a few people ruin it for others, we shouldn't ban it. Yes, why should a few bad apples ruin it for everybody? Different types of tag. There are many different versions of tag. You probably know how to play some of them. One of the most popular versions of tag is freeze tag, where instead of being it when you get caught, you stand in, you stand still until another player touches you. There's also tunnel tag, which is like freeze tag, except that your teammate must crawl through your legs before you can play again. Monster tag starts with one person chasing all the others. As the player is tagged, he or she joins hands with it to help chase the others. In the end, there's a group a long chain of players who are all it working together. With all the hands and feet, the chain reminds some people of a monster. That is how this kind of game, tag game, got its name. Readers, what do you think the most important thing to understand and remember about the part you just read? I think the most important thing is that there's different types of tag games that people can play. Yes, you can play like freeze tag, and you also can play monster tag. So there's more than one kind of game of tag. All right, thank you guys. Other games. If your school does not allow tag at recess, there are a lot of other games you can play instead. If you have a ball, you can organize a game of kickball or foursquare. 
With a piece of chalk and a few pebbles, you can play hopscotch. You can probably think of many more fun things to do during recess. Whatever you are allowed to do at recess is important that you play fair and are gentle with others. When everyone feels safe, everyone can have fun. So readers, what do you think the most important thing to understand and remember from the part we just read? Well, I think that just because tag might not be allowed, there's other games you can play, like kickball. Yeah, we can play four, uh, four square too, or even hopscotch. I remember we just read or learned about how to play hopscotch a few weeks ago in school. I like to play hopscotch, that way no one runs into you. Yeah, hopscotch is pretty cool. I also like to play basketball. Sometimes I like to take my repel, repeller and go up and down the, the walls of the school, but Miss Kowatch doesn't like that so much. Yeah, it's kind of dangerous. All right, readers, thank you very much for sharing today. So, readers, what we're learning here is that readers share opinions that this last article is that... Um, is about sharing opinions about tag and learning a, a prompt for explaining ideas. So that's what this section is about, is that we're going to share our opinions about tag and learn a prompt for explaining these ideas. So people have different opinions about whether or not the game of tag should be banned in schools. Now quietly think to yourselves about the following question. Do you think banning tag is a good idea? Why or why not? Just think about it. Okay, partners, turn to your partner. I think tag is a bad idea. I think it's a bad idea to ban tag. It's fun and you can get a lot of good exercise on it. Well, I disagree with you. I think tag should should be banned in schools. The reason I think it is it's dangerous and sometimes people get hurt and it even leads to bullying and fights. Well, thank you, Batman and Robin, for your opinions today. It's appreciated. And one of the things that's important to know is that people have different opinions about things, and that is okay. What is important is that people explain their thinking by giving reasons for it. Notice that Robin, he gave reasons for keeping tag because it's good exercise, and he can have fun playing it. Whereas Batman thought that it could be dangerous, and then that maybe, you know, sometimes it can lead to bullying or even fights. So... There's many different opinions to one side of the story. So remember that when you're doing your writing. So today, readers, we're now going to stop at the end of this video. It's your turn to go and read independently for up to 25 minutes. This is your individualized daily reading for today. Your job is to read for 25 minutes. You can read any text from any genre this week. And remember, you can always access books on Raz Kids or even uh, Epic. Or if you have books at home, any book or genre is fine this week. But I want you to always be thinking about your reading as you read. So remember in our different classrooms, we have a thinking about my reading chart. And um, on this chart, you can use these questions to monitor your thinking as you read. So you should think about what is happening in my book. Do I understand what I am reading? Do I know what most of the words mean? And is this book interesting and fun to read? Also, I want to talk about that you need to be able to use some fix-up strategies as you're reading along. So there's a couple of these different fix-up strategies that are, if you don't really understand something, you can always go back and reread it. Also, what sometimes helps is reading ahead. You kind of look ahead, like looking at the pictures, looking at the headings, looking at the captions. It gives you a good idea of what your reading is mostly about. All right, readers, next time we're going to read the article called Smile, You've Got Homework. All right, it's time for our IDR, so off you go.